We'll be entering a new chapter, a new phase in the process um, of working through the aftermath of the collapse. Three families now have closure, but they have to deal with the grief that comes with losing a loved one now. Today, officials confirmed three people died when this apartment building partially collapsed in Davenport a little more than a week ago. The bodies of Brandon Colvin Sr., Ryan Hitchcock, and Daniel Preen were recovered. Davenport police say no other people are believed to be in the rubble. But here is what we have learned in the weeks since the collapse. In the 10 minutes before the building partially collapsed, a support brace bent and part of the brick facade around it crumbled. This security footage shows the moment it happened. The city of Davenport is suing one of the owners of the building, Andrew Wold, for violating city code. On its website are several documents from city and private engineers detailing the structural concerns in the months leading up to the collapse. The city is still deciding whether to launch a criminal investigation. For now, the city is focusing on getting the site of the collapse cleared out and ready for demolition. But the mayor says that is going to be a process. We'll work with our contractor and a plan for the safe uh, dismantle of parts of the building. We're working with multiple structural experts from all around the country uh, to understand how best to proceed and do this in a dignified manner. One of the residents injured in the building collapse is now suing the city of Davenport and the building's current and former owners, claiming all knew of the dangerous conditions but failed to warn residents. Governor Reynolds had a close-up look at the damage this morning. In a tweet, the governor thanked first responders and said the state is continuing to provide support and resources while working with city officials. Her office has already approved state disaster aid to help with the cleanup.